Well, um, despite the fact we're out in the middle of nowhere, we've just had six walkers just walk over the bridge that um, sounded a bit like a brass band. Crash bang walloping around. They're having a bit of fun, so am I. So I think that's the end of that peg. Um, there's another peg further down river. I think we'll probably have a little dab. It was a little weird down there. I'm sure there'll be a few more chaplets in there. And um, we'll have a go down there and uh, hopefully it won't be so noisy this time. So see you a bit later on. No more walkers, please. <laughs> Right, one of the beauties about travelling light as I have done today is that um, this has gone a little bit quiet on me now. So I think there's another peg further down by the bridge and I'm going to take my rod, a bit of bait, and my landing net, I'm going to have a stroll down and uh, see if we can sort of find, locate a few more fish. So let's up sticks, leave this here, we come back a bit later and go down and see what we can catch down there. Let's get going. species we haven't caught so far today, that's a bleak. That's all in fish you can see top it. This, this river is really healthy. Got chublets, which will grow onto a bit of nice fish, big fish one day, hopefully. We've got roach. So we had a nice one further down, probably about three times as big as that one. What else we got in here? Got loads of gudgeon. And look at that for a gudgeon. What a big old fish that one is. It's such a beautiful little fish. And like I say, I spent many, many a boyhood day catching these on the canals, on the River Lee, around Waltham Abbey, Chesant, Ponders End, Boxbourne, all around that way. And I was happy catching these all day long. I used to get sometimes 150 in a day. Get a bus, bus from Forest Gate, change at Chingford, onto Waltham Abbey. Get 150 of these, plus a few little roach, little perch, and I'll be so happy. Let's put this one back, and we'll see you again for another day.